Hello, this is Valderum. Today I want to speak a bit about mitral valve stenosis. Mitral valve stenosis is when your mitral valve leaflets fuse and become stiff. Now your chordate tendine, they also contract and shorten. This valve disorder is getting more rare. It's caused by several different things. There's rheumatic fever, which is caused by group A strep. So always get tested for strep when you have a sore throat. It can be congenital. You can have a buildup of calcium over time. That's usually age related. Or it can be caused by atrial myxoma, which is a type of atrial tumor. Now, atrial stenosis is a diastolic murmur, meaning you hear it after S2 until S1. This is what a normal heart sounds like. This is what one of mitral stenosis sounds like. So what happens in mitral stenosis is your valve opening narrows. Now this increases the left atrial pressure, so the left atrium is going to dilate. When it dilates, you have increased risk for dysrhythmias like atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation causes clots to form, and they'll treat that with an anticoagulant like warfarin. Now the increased atrial pressure causes an increase in the pulmonary artery pressure because your blood is just backing up. The increased pressure in the lungs causes pulmonary congestion, so your right ventricle hypertrophies gets bigger to be able to push against the higher pressure. Initially, you're asymptomatic. As it progresses, you develop dyspnea, orthopnea, and paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, which is shortness of breath that wakes you up when you sleep laying down. It goes away after you sit upright, so you'll see patients with this disease, they like to sleep with a lot of pillows behind them. In the late stage, you'll see jugular venous distension, hepatomegaly, and pitting edema as the heart fails and fluid backs up. This is called right-sided heart failure. Cardiac output eventually falls because the left ventricle doesn't get filled enough. Now, treatments include anticoagulants like warfarin. Those prevent clots from forming. The biggest concern of the clots is stroke. Beta blockers and calcium channel blockers are also prescribed. They'll decrease your heart rate so there's more time for your ventricles to fill. Antiarrhythmics, those are like amiodarone. That's to control the atrial fibrillation. You'll also most likely be prescribed diuretics. They're prescribed to get rid of the edema in the lungs and elsewhere. There's also a couple of procedures you can do. They include a balloon valvotomy. That's where a balloon is inflated in your heart to widen the valve. They can also do a, a commiserotomy, that's a type of open heart surgery where they go in and they remove the built up calcium deposits. And then there's valve replacement. There's two types, mechanical which lasts around 20 to 30 years, but you have to take anticoagulants for the rest of your life because it increases your risk of developing clots by a lot. Then there are biological valves, and those only last a couple of years. Now thanks for watching everybody. If you want to see something, just say it in the comments.